it's August 19th and I'm really going to try to get all my fall seeds in, in the next couple days. I got it. This is it, last chance. So, any one thing I'm standing up here looking and thinking that, uh, you know, the irrigation, one of the reasons it didn't help me that much this year for my spring spring plantings because I planted all those things before I had the drip in and the drip's got to be right over the top of something if you're trying to get it to Germany and I wasn't I was trying to like just seed and then lay the tape over the top but no today in uh, which bed did I do one of these I put the seeds in right underneath the drip tape so I'm not I'm not gonna move the drip tape after that that's where it's gonna be and this made me think about how really as a farmer you have to submit yourself to water you're really kind of a, a servant to your water system. I guess that's just, maybe that's obvious, but it was just kind of a different way of looking at it from my perspective. Yeah, besides that, I mean, I'd be interested to go back to my numbers, which I was predicting I could grow about $3,000 worth of produce this year. And that was including a blueberry harvest. And uh, I think that was also including the apple harvest, which is soon coming. Um, and I'm curious. I, I, don't, I don't think so. I don't think I... My guess would be about one and a half thousand conservatively. Or fifteen hundred. And man, I just, the few things that I mentioned in the last couple of videos for improvements and doing more research because I know it can be done. On this, what I, on these beds I have here, I mean, there's guys who make like 15,000. So I need to like really study up on that what are they doing exactly and uh you know get it up <laughs>